This is David, Mike Zero, Tango Whiskey Alpha, doing a brief uh, overview and, uh, well, some of my thoughts on the Anytone AT779. This is the UHF version. Uh, there is a VHF version. I'm of the opinion that the two radios are the same. They're just set up internally or via some sort of uh, engineer's menu. Um for different bands um i know uh, this was supplied to me um uh, by martin lynch and son in uh, in england um it, uh, it 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 came to me i think these are a really good price now they're on special offer at 39.95 and it's about 4 pounds uk sterling for shipping so just over 40 pounds gives you a quite useful little monoband radio uh, I know for not much more, you could probably get yourself a, a cheap and cheerful dual bander. Um, Anytone also do the 778 UV, which is um, a dual bander, but it's quite a much bigger radio. What I was looking for was a uh, a transceiver that I could use for the local UHF repeaters, all the uh, local UHF, sorry, uh, repeaters local to me are UHF, so um, on analog. And uh, there are others that are VHF, but most of them appear to be digital modes. I spend a lot of time being Dad's taxi, and uh, my intention was to put this in a protective enclosure for when it's, you know, for storage and just uh, throw it, be, be able to throw it in the back of the car and uh, have a little button mag mount for uh, um, for UHF. And when I'm travelling around, taking son and daughter to places, uh, be able to uh, use something that's small and convenient and can plug straight into the cigarette lighter. This seemed to be an obvious, obvious choice. It may be one for you. Um, that's the label on top of the thing. You have to excuse me. My phone camera is not that brilliant. Um, the UHF version. There is a VHF version. I don't think Martin Lynch is supplying it. They can't, well, they're not stocking it anymore. Um, but I think you can still get the uh, VHF version from China. Um, if you look at the footprint of this thing, um, it's sat on top of a CD case. Um, so, you know, you can see from that, it actually sits inside the footprint of a CD case. So it's... It's, it really is very, very small. Um, the uh, four buttons on the front. You can use these for programming it manually. It comes with, uh, certainly from the supplier that I got it from, um, it came with a programming cable. I wanted to try and see if I could program it up uh, using just the buttons. Um, the knob over here. Um, that is uh, the on off switch, but when you press the function key, um, along pressing the function key, this allows you to scroll through the various uh, 20 menu options that uh, change the parameters of the radio. And then there are the other, uh, other three buttons, uh, which uh, you've got uh, the squelch, scan, and VFO. Um, a memory mode, so it's it's fairly straightforward. I've done another video, uh, which is already posted up on YouTube, uh, showing you how to program in repeaters, etc. And once you've done it once, it really is very very intuitive. Um, the internal speaker on this thing is not all that good. It's a little bit on the tinny side. If you've got an external speaker, of which um, I looked through the junk box and over here, oops a daisy, sorry you'll have to excuse me, my camera on this phone is, is shocking it really, it doesn't deal with contrast very well. Um, it's a it's a Japanese made, it's called Grayton, um, MS50CB and it's brand new, it's never been used, uh, this is the speaker here. And uh, it sounds an awful lot better. The audio from the radio sounds better on an outboard speaker, far better. Um, so um, there you go. Have a look at my other video for programming, and you'll also hear a little bit of audio on there as well, um, received audio. 
and uh, yeah, all in all, it's it's good value for money. It really is. If you're looking for something that is small and compact and convenient, and maybe uh, you know, like a a go pack type radio, uh, this is certainly the one. Um, it uh, it does uh, five, ten, and I think fifteen watts. Uh, I have to say, even on five watts, it gets very very warm. It's got no internal fan. Um, you know, either sucking out sucking out the heat from the the radio it's got no internal fan at all so the the body of it is a heat sink it works because it gets hot it's doing its job um if it was upon 15 watts i think i would be reluctant to keep it there for any length of time um it it does get very very warm so i think it's a case of uh, you using the minimum of power um for good communications what depending on distance you are away from the station that you work in or the repeater okay so there we go uh the uh, anytone at779u very good afternoon evening morning wherever you might be in the world m0 twa